Hey, and welcome to your Metabolism Turbo Booster Yoga Shred Practice. This is a great combination of more anatomically enhanced yoga flows and safer joint anatomy hit or high intensity interval training flows and movements that you can use to really make sure that you are amping up your metabolism to be more efficient and burn more calories for the next 24 to 48 hours because of this one 25 minute practice. All right, let's begin. Come into your easy seat. Begin to breathe, inhale down to your belly, to the pelvis and the low back. Just give yourself more relaxation, more expansion as you inhale. As you exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor muscles and low belly inward and upward to help press the breath all the way back out. Inhale down. Warm and wide, I call this the belly bonfire breath, as if you had a flame burning at the center of your pelvis. As you exhale, hug in and up, lift, 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 and squeeze the muscles, tone the core from the inside. Inhale down, warm and wide. And exhale, hug and lift all the way back up and press that breath out completely. Let's get moving. Inhale, lean forward, open up through your chest. Exhale, curl yourself back and in. Inhale, forward and up. Nice, slow, rhythmic breaths in and out. Can you continue to inhale down a little bit more? And exhale, squeeze up from the pelvic muscles. Help yourself get heated and more stable inside the pelvis, the sacrum, and the low back. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Stretch, stretch. And on your exhale, lean back a little bit. Bring your hands to your chest and twist to the right. Inhale to warm up the spine and the abs. Keep your body really long. Inhale, lean forward and up. Exhale, spin and twist. No collapsing in the low back. Keep it long. Inhale and exhale. Good. Flow with your breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale it out completely. And once again, inhale forward. Exhale, spin, good. Reach your arms forward this time and on your exhale, bring fists of fire down into the hips here. Lean back so much, maybe your ankles lift. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale out completely, sitting bones press way down, lift through the crown of your head. Warming up the belly like this and hugging and lifting as you exhale is going to help you warm up and get your digestive system starting to heat, and that whole inner body, exhale, organs, vitality, rocking your aging, <sighs> exhale, all of that happens when your systems work better. Inhale here, and last one, exhale, all the way back. Really nice. Stretch your arms to the sky, unwind your feet, and press those big toe mounds together. Bring your hands down to your heart again, and twist to the right. Inhale, stretch everything a little longer, Exhale, twist to the left. If that's too much, keep your feet down, but your spine long. Good, exhale, spin. Inhale, lift the feet if you can. Exhale, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fingertips touch. This is a nice flame mudra to heat it up. Inhale and exhale. Reach it up, last time to the left. Nice long spine, stretch up, 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 up. Reach and open your hands, cross your ankles. And this time on your next exhale or so, find your way back into your downward facing dog. Give yourself a nice inversion here. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, tongue out, fierce lion. <sighs> Release tension. Bend your knees and your elbows here. Just kind of bounce with the earth, warm up the arms, warm up the legs. Press yourself down now. And on your next inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. On the exhale, knee to chest, curl and hug it in. You can always put your left knee down and do this on hands and knees. Inhale, reach your right leg up again. Exhale, sweep it into your chest. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, knee to chest, lift, lift, lift. Tone that core and step your right foot to the right thumb. Inhale, wave your spine nice and long. On your exhale, bend your back knee, sweep in and up, stretch into your lunge, and then reach the legs a little longer, come to stand. Exhale, fists to fire, bend both knees. This will warm up your legs fast, 
and let your pelvis move better for a safer low back. Sweep that pelvis in and up from the front. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Stretch your arms to the sky. And on the next exhale, bring your hands to your heart at Namaste and twist your spine to the right. These beautiful detoxifying inversions will also help your metabolism rock and roll a little bit better. Inhale, wave your spine long. Open up through your chest. Look down at the floor. Take another breath in here. And on your next exhale, step the left foot forward to a twisted chair. Left elbow to right knee. Bend your knees and slide your hips back. Good, inhale, stretch to the sky. Exhale, spin the other way. Just touch right elbow to left knee. These are twists of fire. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, spin. Remember that breath now, that belly bonfire. Inhale, down a little bit. Exhale, squeeze pelvic floor and low belly inward and upward. Inhale, reach. This time, exhale, fold forward at center, Tanasana. Wave your spine long. Plant your hands, step or hop. Woo, back to downward facing dog. You got this. Take a breath in. Exhale, tongue out. Release tension and express your fierce nature. Bend the elbows and knees, play with the earth. Just heating and warming up now. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee to chest. Good, inhale, reach it up. Be on hands and knees if you need to, if this is a lot. Exhale, hug knee in and up, lift your pelvis more. Inhale, stretch your leg. Exhale, knee to chest, last one. Hold and lift, really get strong here, and then step it forward, left foot to left thumb. Wave your spine long, bend your back knee, sweep in and up that pelvis from the front, and reach to the sky. Stand up completely, exhale. Bend both knees and squeeze up that pelvic floor. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale it out. Glorious, play with the earth here as you warm up your legs. This time, palms come together at the heart. Lean yourself forward and tap that right elbow toward the left knee. Pelvis stays facing the floor. If it tips to the left, you can Kind of tip over too. So you keep it centered. Good, inhale. Exhale, spin the top shoulder onto the back a little bit more. One more breath in, stretch from the inside out. And this time on your next exhale, slowly walk it forward, right foot forward underneath the sitting bones, nice wide feet. Deep breath in, exhale, and spin, twist the chair. Let's go for these Fierce twist, inhale, reach up, exhale, pelvic floor and belly. If you can really tone, hug and lift them inward and upward as you exhale, you're going to get hot a lot faster. Exhale, and yes, I mean that in all senses of the word, exhale. One more time here, stretch to center. This time, fold all the way forward, nice forward fold and begin to wave your spine from side to side. Walk your fingertips over to the left and then the right. Play around with your breath and the stretch you can get here when you truly just play into these secret places and spaces inside your body. Your metabolism will work better if your body is strong but open so all systems can flow and, and go. Take a breath in here. Exhale, come back to center. Nice wave through your spine. Exhale, fold it down. Bend your knees, slide your sitting bones back. Really ground your heels and whole feet down into the earth as you take a couple of breaths to come up, to stand. Take your time with me and inhale. Unfurl your arms to the sky, reach it up. Exhale, hands to your heart and namaste. Let's begin the yoga shred portion of class now. As we start, and I'll get back to the center of my mat for this one, to do our fierce fists of fire chair. We'll bend the knees. Remember, knees and hips always slide back. And we'll do this for four rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 off. Do it with me. Round one, here we go. Bend as deeply as you can. Knees and sitting bones back. Press your heels way down to firm and tone that back body. 
Yoga is slow flow and slow twitch, but this is a little bit faster. And one more, great. Breathe, and as soon as you need to, breathe through your mouth as your heart rate will really begin to rise for better metabolism boosting and cardio. Here we go, round two. Can you go a little faster for you? So you wanna get that nice, fast twitch, but mindful action that will tone and define your muscles unlike anything else. Even yoga. Good, one more. All right, breathe it out, step it out. Get lots of oxygen into your body. Come back to center, round three and four. Really sit it back. So here you are. And you can say, ha, ha. Give yourself a fierce press into the earth. Heels really work down on your exhales. Ha, ha. Good, one more. Walk it out, rest it out. Now, this is gonna be really good for all your standing balances in yoga and your chair poses, of course. Last one. Go as quickly as you can for your body. But remember, hips and knees back always, so you're never pressurizing the knees or ankles. Overly, good. Got one more in you? Hi, do, woo! All right, join me here in temple pose for our next round of four. Here we go. Toes turn open, knees open. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, ha! Inhale, ha! Fists of fire, ha, fierce temple, ha, inhale and exhale through the mouth, ha, and if you can go, ha, ha, a little faster, then do it, ha, ha, excellent. Just stretch it out from side to side or walk it out in place for just our short rest period. Never long enough, but that's why we transform so fast. With hit. Here we go. Round two. Ha. Ha. Amp up your fierceness today. Ha. And every time you exhale, hug up the pelvic floor muscles. Ha. Low belly and core to really tone and trim yourself there. Ha. All right. Walk it out or stretch. Remember, front knee never goes forward of the ankle too much. Just keep it nice. Bend. Breathe it out. All right, come on back, round three. Ha, ha. I want you to press your heels down into the ground. Ha, ha. Go for it. Really strongly press. Ha, ha. Hips and knees back every time you bend. And one, ha. Good, last rest period here, stretch it out. Find the inhales and exhales. You wanna fill your beautiful body with oxygen, ha, all right, ha, we can do it, ha, together, and as quickly as you can, I want you to press your heels down, ha, as you bring those fists in, really important for toning inner thighs, back body, and the glutes, ha, ha, one more, ha, really nice, all right, let's stretch one leg, bend the other, turn the toes a little forward, reach overhead, Nice deep breath. And the other side. Reach and stretch. Yeah, really nice. Excellent. Come back to center. Turn yourself back into your downward facing dog here. Nice deep inhale. Exhale it out. Bend your knees here. Take another big deep breath down to the belly and the pelvis. Exhale. Sweep your belly up, front spine. Come to plank pose. Set your knees down, but really tone the core up and begin to slowly lower down to the earth. Inhale, open up. Breathe through the mouth as long as you have to. Plant your knees or pointed feet down. Tone that inner deep spinal core and fold it downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, bend your knees here. You can even bend your elbows again. Play with the earth. And this time, hop yourself forward toward the front of your mat. Here we go. Last round of eight things. <laughs> I'm gonna try to surprise you a little bit, but anyway, let's slowly come up to your standing beautiful mountain pose. Stretch into the air 
Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, here's the next move, chair pose. Plant your hands, step or hop back, bent knee, lift up through the navel. So like a bent knee plank pose slash dog thingy here. Safe for the low back because your navel is lifting. On your exhale, we'll hop forward, get over your heels with the knees and hips back, and fists of fire. We're gonna put it all together now. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Round one, yoga shred burpees. Plant your hands, step or hop back, keep the navel and core strong. Hop forward, and really pop it up there. Plant your hands, lift the navel, here we go. If you have one more, do it a little quickly. <laughs> and there we go. Woo. Now, if this is too much for you, you can lunge back, lunge back, and meet us in chair, okay? Round two, do something that keeps you moving and challenge. Bent knees, lifted navel. Hop forward, really lift up. Try it again. Plant those hands, fingertips strong. Lifted navel and core. Hop forward, and if you got one more, <laughs> all right, that's pretty good. Now you wanna go a little bit faster for you. Breathe through the mouth the whole time. Walk it out, here we go. Next round, plant those hands. Step or hop it back. Hop forward, knees and hips back. Okay, I want you to tone and tighten this whole back body. You can go faster than me if you want. I'm just showing for alignment. Usually in my daily practice, I do something like that. A little bit faster. All right, here we go. Breathe it out, rest it out. And let's go. Next round. Plant the hands. Step or hop back. Here are the breath. I like to exhale on exertion, so I exhale to jump back, jump forward, and Pop it up, okay? Plant it down, five more seconds. There we go, we're gonna add some super adventure moves to this, should you choose it. And remember, you can always lunge, lunge, and join us in chair, that's hands free. Let's begin this next round. Here's what I'm thinking, hop it forward, come up to chair, try to jump off the earth. Land with hips and knees back, always. Big issue with hip moves is joint compression. One more little moment, all right. We all breathe together like fire breathing dragons. And since your fat is now evaporating inside your body and coming out for your exhale, all right, next round, you're a fat breathing dragon too. Hop it back, hop it forward. Let's do this, I want you to move quickly, but mindfully. See if you can get the nice joint action happening, but work those heels down to the ground as you hop. You can always put your hands here on your thighs, press down for traction in the low back and sacrum, and breathe it out. All right, let's do this. Plant the hands. Hop back, navel strong. Hop forward. One hop, maybe two hops. Just saying. Plant the hands. Hop it back. This is one of the best metabolism boosters you can do. One more second. Okay, come on up and rest it out. Breathe a lot. We have one more round to go. You're almost there. One of the best calorie burning cardio poses too. All right, let's do it. Plan it. Yeah, we're in it together. All right, one or two hops, Yogi's Choice. I'll see your choice, no hops. <laughs> we only have five more seconds to go, starting now. So maybe give it one more. All right, awesome work. Rest that out. We're gonna come into a little bit of a cool down and a final belly pose after this. Come to the front of your mat, deep breath in, stretch up. Exhale, out through the mouth, fold it over. Inhale up, through the mouth. If you have to breathe faster than once every move, do that. Heart rate should be up quite nicely if you did that to your capacity. That's what yoga poses alone don't give us. And that's what changes a lot of the other stuff we are looking for in our fitness 
and holistic health practice. Ha! <sighs> Plant your hands down, step or hop to down dog. Keep breathing through the mouth as long as you need to. <sighs> Bend your knees. <sighs> Good. Nice deep breath in. Exhale. <sighs> Come forward. Plant the knees. Deep breath. Exhale, lower down to the earth. <sighs> Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, float it back down. Two more of those. Inhale. <sighs> you can breathe as your body needs to, not as the pose wants you to. Inhale here. <sighs> Better for your heart rate if it's up. And last one. Inhale, up, up, up. And on your exhale, I want you to press your knees down, navel up, or pointed feet, that's pointed plank. That turns the psoas. Sides of your lumbar spine. Come on back, downward facing dog. One more deep breath in, tongue out. <sighs> Bend your knees, look forward, and on your exhale, <sighs> hop to sit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on down mm, to your back. That should feel pretty nice now. And we're going for a half round of a little belly bonfire move that I like to call belly bonfire. <laughs> Real nice. All right, reach and stretch up. On your exhale, plant your hands behind your skull, and I just want you to curl yourself up, shoulders off the floor. That's it. We're not doing a straight leg crunch. We're doing a nice banded movement here to get that nice abdominal tone and hugging like that. That's the belly bonfire. Here we go. Round one of four. And I want you just to say, or ha, 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 and give yourself the option to really hug that belly in with every exhale. You can even pull your pelvic floor muscles in with your exhales and tone that up too. Yes, why not, mama? All right, rest it out. Give a nice stretch, whole body stretch, spinal stretch. Plant the fingertips back down again, curl it up. You are almost done in your practice. So I want you to go for this. Notice you're probably yanking your head forward and your chin towards your chest. I want you to back your head off and actually press it into your hands right now. Look more toward the ceiling and let the abs do more of the work than your arms or your neck. Good. Put it down. Rest and breathe. You're halfway done already. I hope you're beginning to feel the belly bonfire. Fingertips plant. Curl up a little bit. You never want to go past the base of your shoulder blades here. Open those elbows and press the head back. Lift your chin. And that should take it right there into the abs even more. Here we go. Just five more seconds of this. Really nice hug and squeeze. And then a stretch out. And for the last one here, party people, let's get this bonfire going even more by going a bit faster. Fast can still be mindful, and then you get the fast twitch muscle fiber action, which is what tightens and tones and defines your muscles. So maybe something like that. Almost done. One more second, and there it is. All right, come on down to rest. Oh, yes, stretch out, stretch, stretch. And then let's bend the knees. Take a deep breath in, lift your hips, stretch your arms overhead, and on your exhale, begin to put it back down. Let's just do a therapeutic bridge now. With all that belly work, you're now detoxifying your system, which is very helpful for your metabolism, which is really all systems go. You want that to be able to function, to be fit inside and out. Total health. Inhale, lift. Really cleanse and clear with this inversion. Exhale it down one more time. Inhale, float it up. And exhale, you breathe through the mouth until you can return to that yogic breath. Now moving a little more slowly in the yogic fashion, inhale up. And as you exhale, plant the hands down, interlace your hands, and just gently curl those shoulders underneath. But you want them at neutral like you were standing in mountain pose, not shoved away from your ears. That's really straining for the neck and the jaw. So keep those shoulders at neutral, but wrapped underneath you. Lift your hips a little more. Lift your chin a little more to keep your neck spine natural. So you're flowing right now freely. All of the gateways of your joints open as your body cleanses out from that low body action. If you want a full inversion on one side, stretch your right leg up. Oh yeah, <laughs> or try. <laughs> Come on down. 
Stretch the other leg up. Really press, press to the right heel. Inhale and exhale. Release your hands. Release your whole spine down to the earth. Windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Return to that slow nose breathing. Movement can be yoga because yoga is uniting yourself with all of your systems in harmony and doing poses consciously, breathing consciously within them and bringing yourself into that beautiful new transformed space that doing that on the reg consistently creates for you. So the speed doesn't matter, the intention matters. And now you're getting a whole fitness practice like nothing else. All right, come back to center, hug your knees in very gently, roll circles one way and then the other. Your pelvis should be flat on the floor, not rolled up, because that's not great for the low back, but here you can just give yourself a little stir to the magic mojo of the belly. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, curl yourself up, give yourself a hug this time, and stretch into that back body line with the breath. Let go on the exhale of any old negative attachments you might have carried here with you. One more breath in. Fill up the whole back of the spine with the breath and energy, and then gently and slowly release yourself into your Shavasana, final resting pose. I want you to just be here for the next few moments, or if there's any final stretches or movements you want to do now, or continue on with your own practice, go ahead. But in just 25 minutes, you're getting the benefits of doing about an hour to two hours of exercise for your cardio, your calorie burn, your muscle toning, and your metabolism turbo boosting for a day or even two. All right, congrats on doing that with me. Thank you so much. And if you like this video, you want to keep it, it will disappear down my feed. Make sure to press share on this and it will go into your own pages video library and you can keep it forever. All right, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth, melt. And just breathe organically now. Receive the practice that you so bravely showed up for here today. I'll see you soon. Namaste. Hey, so if you loved that practice of the yoga shred, I've got so much more for you. I have all my new courses pinned to the top of the page here on Facebook, and I'd love for you to look through those. Uh, they're pay what you want, and you can go through and have me guide you for 21 days or a 30-day challenge to become your most fit, fierce, and fabulous, and you don't even work out every day. And when you do, it's only about 20 to 25 minutes, and you'll get the benefits like you've been working out, slogging away at the gym or the yoga studio for hours every day. It's pretty miraculous. A lot of you know I'm 46 years old and I've never looked or felt better and I do it in way less time and I'd love for you to join me. I'll guide you through with recipes, with daily workouts and some of those workouts are just, hey, don't work out today. Go outside, take a nice walk, live your life and uh, see your friends. <laughs> I do it all the time. All right, we'll see you there. Uh, check it out, all the links at the top of my page. Namaste again, you guys rocked it today.